Um, I am a retired physician living with sickle cell disease. Um, fortunately, I was diagnosed um, very young, 18 months old, um, got very ill, according to my mom. Um, she got in touch with our family doctor, who literally was like around the corner. Um, he was an African-American physician, and right away he knew that my, dip, what they call a differential diagnosis, he said I either had rheumatic fever or sickle cell disease. Told my mom to take me to the Children's Hospital, Philadelphia. That's where I was diagnosed and treated until they kicked me out at the age of 17. Back then they did not have transitional care. They just told me to go find a doctor, <laughs> an adult doctor, <laughs> which, you know, I figured out. Um, I sort of figured it out after going to college because I did graduate from high school and go to college. I've never wanted to be anything other than a physician. The good news is my family, even though they were poor, neither of my parents ever told me I could not be a physician, that they could not afford it, even though they couldn't. Um, and my church was very supportive. But teachers, counselors, physicians, nurses, none of them encouraged me to pursue medicine. And instead, they would offer alternatives that they thought were more realistic to what I should do because of my health. Um, I did hear growing up that um, my prognosis was poor, but I never believed it. And that was probably because of going to church a lot. Um, and I grabbed onto at a very young age the concept of three score and ten or seventy years. So I felt like God was going to give me at least seventy years. And I'm now 66. <laughs> so I only have four more years to go. And then I'll surpass that hopefully. <laughs>